everybody, welcome to some XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I kind of started this on stream and I decided to bring it to YouTube because... I'm sorry if the first 10 minutes is going to sound like a, a, a vlog, but... Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I, I've done a lot of games for my YouTube. Uh, so, you know, you're just going to see some me revisiting some stuff because... I don't know, man. Alright, so... I guess we could turn on ambient narrative just because it's a let's play. Um, I don't think we're going to do this tutorial because I assume you guys have seen the first game. I don't know if the tutorial is any different, but I'm going to assume it's not done. And, uh, I don't even care, so... If you want the tutorial, it's the first one, but yeah. Yeah, go to the first one. Uh, we don't... We could just keep beginner VO and stuff like that. So they have a couple of things here for... Uh, oh yeah, I should probably mention. I don't think I can actually show you the mods, but I don't have anything major. Actually, I'm just going to probably edit it into the video right now. It's nothing major, nothing too gameplay changing. It's mostly just quality of life stuff and meme stuff and things like that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so we're going to be doing that. Um, I've only played this a little bit on stream, like probably like a few minutes and stuff like that. And like, I don't know, I, I completed Hat in Time and I just kind of didn't feel like playing anything else. And I kind of want to... I don't know, I started this on stream, I'm like, you know what, fuck it, let's bring it to YouTube, because I, I, I don't know if I want to bring XCOM 2 back to my YouTube stuff, but I, quite honestly, I've played so much shit, like, of games that I'm already familiar with. A lot of what's left, you know, I can't really share much more that I'm familiar with with you guys. That's the problem, so. It's not to say, like, nothing's happening with my YouTube channel necessarily, but I still like playing stuff for YouTube, but this is a good thing to bring, bring to YouTube, you know, because it's really good. Alright, so. I am a I am an exper experienced XCOM 2 player. Uh, so uh, Legend, I, I haven't actually tried Legend, but um, I I know how bad <laughs> those difficulties were before. Honestly, in my run on YouTube, uh, on my stream, uh, my uh, commander run wasn't going so well at the end, anyways. Mostly because I didn't understand the mechanics. So that's just how you got to go. And we're not gonna play with Iron Man, so uh, have to deal with it. So so they have. A couple things here. I'm not sure why. So, XCOM 2 content. Yeah, apparently Shen's last gift, last gift is not com compatible with uh, integrated downloadable content. I'm not sure what the fuck that means, but whatever. Sure, we, we did Shen's last gift, I think, in my first LP of this, so don't worry about it. Accessing the feed now. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider. This is central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please! There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report. So, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. 
yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Keeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. You can already see I'm already a part of it. I'm actually the only one that's in the, the hero pool. Uh, sorry, no, I'm saying hero pool, but um, it's not a hero five. pool. We have a fix on the target. Move to place the X4 charges at the designated position. Uh, so, yeah, I'm the only one that's actually like, everyone else is just some, oh, Banana Ninja is actually in the pool as well. Go figure. I thought that I thought that was that yellow coating that seemed a little bit familiar. Alright, the only thing I do have on is I do have zip mode on because uh, uh, fuck waiting, I don't have time to wait. All right, so we're gonna do the good old fashioned uh, do sprint into um, things unnecessarily into danger, and it seems to be working out pretty well for us. Got it covered. Uh, this is only the most tactical maneuvers. But yeah, we're gonna play on zip mode just because uh, I, I don't want to wait, so... Um, so if you want a character named after you in my run... Uh, too fucking bad, no, I'm just joking. Uh, I, I'll, I'll name it after just people in the comments, I guess, or something, whenever... Remember, I always did that shit off camera, so... Uh, you have to remember that. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well-equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. It's a pretty good chance to hit. On the move. Confirmed. Alright. 
Confirmed. So we're gonna overwatch half our people. And yeah, might as well just open up. Oh cool, he's already dead. And they're very sad about this situation. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Hey, starting a straw, uh, starting a straw with Bedad and Ninja and all that shit. Oh, and me too. Okay, obviously sharpshooter in the making. Just saying. All right. Banana Ninja, you go scout, scout the base, or whatever. Uh, all right. Well, we don't want to go. I mean, here's the thing. I like high ground. All right, Banana Ninja will play bait. Orders confirmed. On the move. I trust in the Banana Ninja, the uh, of course. What the hell? Oh, it's target preview. I can target this guy. Ah, miss. Oh, he has 45. There's no way I don't take it at 45%. That means half the time we should hit. See? Half the time, the second person hit. Yep, uh, there goes my sharpshooter says. So I'm gonna be a fucking medic, aren't I? No worry, guys. The man ninja has banana reflexes? Okay, never mind. Not a ninja yet. You better not die. Go fuck yourself! All right, we're doing we're doing excellent this game. Typical XCOM things going on right now. Can we just kill this guy? Fuck. Okay. I'm Actually, you know what? I'm definitely gonna be a sharpshooter now. All right. Well, uh, I'll get the officer last. That guy's crap cover. Oh shit! That guy, that guy has goodies. That's okay. Hey, you're fine, Nori. I'm thinking that we actually we could just bring everybody over here. I'm on the move. And this is when we uh, we find some other pod that's on the other side of the map and kills us. That's okay though. All right, I mean, we're gonna give the kill to myself because uh, I need bragging rights. Otherwise, uh, YouTube comments will uh, make fun of me. There we go. Taken care of. The area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Menace 1 5, we have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Oh, good. We got the stock. Definitely worth Banana Ninja's Step life. Don't worry. Banana Ninja will return in the form of his brother. Uh, which I haven't made up a name for him yet, but yeah. It's killing time. Avocado Ninja. Good to go. Avocado Ninja will come in here. No, but that's not exactly, you know, the avocados. Fuck the avocados. We have a limited window to act before Advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Menace one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Maybe Lemon Ninja? Squad is clear. Detonated. Well, Operation... Gatekeeper, only one person died. Alright, welcome to the dumb thing that they have in this, which is like... Apparently, it's like this photo editor thing, and the devs for this game are really proud of this. Apparently, when we're on top secret concealment missions, we can just kind of stand in front of buildings out in the open, uh, with no cover and, uh, and pose for things. So let's, let's just hit randomize. Yeah, so pretty good shit then. Five combined kills. I like, I like that thumbs up I'm doing. Pretty good. Alright, well, let's continue with that. Advent officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens are encouraged to voluntarily visit their nearest recruitment center. Remember, only together can we build a better tomorrow. How lovely. Well, poor Banana Ninja didn't make it. That's okay. 
Memorialize. Okay. The media is a powerful tool. Just ask Advent's propaganda machine. I say it's time we turn it against them. By spreading the word of our soldiers' exploits in combat, we can bolster morale throughout the resistance. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. I, I like to think the actual story behind this is I saw Banana Ninja slain in combat and uh, decided to take up the, store, or the sword instead of the sniper rifle. Fuck yeah, alright. That's a, that's a pretty good backstory. Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. To be honest with you guys, my fucking sharpshooters in this game have been fucking awful. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Like, I've had some terrible luck with the sharpshooters, but I think I don't give them enough scope, so you know what? That's maybe my fault. Alright, well, let's uh, start with Commander, this thing. Commander, to the research lab. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Alright, so they have, we have research that we can do now. We can do modular weapons, it's pretty good. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Uh, there's two power coils here. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. All right, well, I don't think there's anything we can do with her, because... There's room for us to expand yeah, our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. Well, we got two power coils here, and a shit ton of debris and some machinery and stuff, so... All right, well, uh, I guess we might as well just start over here. need more help on the engineering team before I can start uh, clearing out some of these other rooms. not going to excavate anything. We recruit an engineer. We can start actually building things, too, so... The way it works is um, the Grow Tactics School will unlock the additional skills better for, for soldiers. So, as far as I know, 
Um, so the way it used to work in the old one is that, uh, so there was like a building you would rush and then that would give randomly soldiers the ability to, um, you'd, you'd rush this building. I forgot what it was. I think it was maybe the Gorilla Tactics School. You'd rush it and every time a soldier leveled up, you'd gain like a random ability. So you'd rush this thing immediately. Uh, they decided to change that because obviously that wasn't a great thing to do. Uh, so instead, now what they do is uh, nothing. Actually, <laughs> there's really there really isn't anything. I'm actually not even joking. Uh, so like, there's nothing really particularly worthwhile. I think right now, training center isn't that great. Gorilla Texas to uh, tactics school is probably the one we actually want to do. Uh, sure, might as well. I'll send word when it's up and running. Because this one will probably unlock us an additional person. The training one is good just because we can put the rookies into a class that we want like immediately. But I'm not in any rush to do any of that, so fuck that shit. Yeah, yeah fuck you too, Lily. Digging through some of the old data files Central has been holding on to since before the war. I keep running across notes scrawled in English and what looks like broken German. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry. Not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't know what happened in this Command, tutorial. We're attempting contact with a local resistance faction known as the Reapers. These people like to keep a very low profile, so it may take some time before we hear back. While we're waiting, it might be worthwhile to scan the area for additional supplies and resources. You never know what we may find out there. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Ours. So in case you forgot what happened in the intro, they rescued the commander, which is you, uh, from like a facility. There's like two people that go and one of them dies or something. Help us search the area for clues or other resources. So. It's going to take some time though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. The outcome of this research can only further our advances. Alright, we got ourselves some modular weapons. Alright, there's magnetic weapons, hybrid materials. That's for like the armor or something. Armor isn't that good early on. Uh, I mean that's what I like to think at least. But it's like three days. Fine, I fuck you. That is an important task, Commander. They're both worthless. Fuck you. All right, and there you go. A lot has changed in the game. Strategic resource located. All right, 56 supplies, and then uh, obviously you can see we don't have many course. options here. So here's uh, some new YouTube rookies for the. Uh, uh, living in Florida, apparently, or somewhere. No, it's North Carolina. It's where Pat is. Okay, Pat's definitely in this group. Resistance continues to grow. We'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. So we get a free engineer. We've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Okay. Well, um, I don't know. We're like 20 minutes in, but I'm gonna upload like two today, so I'm gonna fucking outfit all these people uh, and uh, I, I mean obviously I can't put anyone's YouTube right now but like I said if you're in the comments this thing I'll probably put you in depending upon how many people are here then I don't know whatever so I've uh, outfitted all my uh, people here and so uh, dear old me so after watching the fall banana ninja um, by the way I shaved myself because uh, well I, I am actually shaped now. I more have a 5 o'clock shadow because... Sorry, it's a 6 o'clock shadow. I don't know what the fuck they called it. I don't know what the phrase for that is. I think it's a uh, 5 o'clock shadow, yeah. So, because I'm lazy to shave sometimes, so... Just seeing the fall of Banana Ninja, I decided to take his place as the... Uh, and uh, before Banana Ninja died, he uh, taught me everything he knew about luck and, ban and banana reflexes. So... We'll, we'll see how that turns out. Um, so our rookie, Jack Witchell, has been uh, drafted into the game as a uh, bald black woman uh, with an eye patch. I'm sure there's a backstory into there somewhere, but fuck that. We don't really care. Uh, and now Pat's here. Pat, happy happy as a clam with his uh, little man bun on the side there, you know, fucking ready to go. 
probably the first to die. And uh, Kant is going to be our sharpshooter, so I tried to color him out for the fucking British flag stuff. Oh, he's got a monocle too. So yeah, that's it. So let's go. I'm a simple man. Sky Ranger in position for deployment. All right, so everyone bets on first to die. Can't be banana ninja. Across an odd series of transmissions coming out of this region, and we've narrowed it down to a hidden alien communications relay transmitting to the Advent network. We can't pass up any opportunities to disrupt their progress on the latest operation, so we're moving in to take out that relay. Neutralize any hostile contacts near the site, lock it down, and destroy the target. All right. So the rule is, if there's anything luck based. Or uh, RNG base, and I have to take it on. Uh, why is it so bright? The communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. I, I don't know why our characters are so bright, but whatever. All right, so I'm gonna say that we probably lost already. Moving to designated position. Yeah, game's definitely over. Rolling. Better we'll just bring it over here. Actually, we only have seven turns, so we kind of have to, I think, rush it. So, how far is it? Oh my god, it's pretty far, actually. Moving to designated coordinates. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Well, we didn't. The pod isn't actually. Uh, well, actually, it's because we're Moving in out. stealth. Oh my god, we're in stealth. I forgot about that. Heading to that location. Yeah, if we're in stealth, it doesn't. It literally doesn't matter. I don't know why I was going overwatching up front. Whatever. We just wasted the first turn. It's okay. All right. So they went to the left. So we should actually be okay. To like, oh, this is not good. Uh oh. Well, oh, we kind of knew they were there, but I didn't know they were there. There. All right. Well, you don't, can't even see anybody anyway, so. Headed there, Noy. <laughs> British as fuck. All right. Could start with a grenade. I'm trying to think of things we can do here. Because I have the sword attack. You know, that's a lot of damage. Why is it like showing me the entire thing there? I mean, there's a good chance we can just one hit this guy. Uh, it's not that good of a chance though. It's 88%. Actually, I think this is bigger radius. Yeah, it is a bigger radius. Wait, why does that guy not get hit by that? Why is there like, why is this like a pixel hunting sweet spot? Can't actually tell. Well, we'll hit them both. There we go. This is for you. All right. Pat's gonna start us off strong with the grenades. Well, that's one guy down. Didn't think we'd actually kill him in just one hit. Okay, the sharpshooter. All right. I mean, that's a high high chance to hit. Got him. All right, we really don't want to trigger anybody else. Rolling out. Besides the YouTube comments, but you know. All right. So, because of the fact that we've now let them go, Jack Witchell uh, has valiantly volunteered to be in the front now. Probably should have made him go into cover, though. That's okay, though. Because he's a brave man. So if I go over here, what's our targets? 60%. Ah, sure. Fuck yeah! Sharpshooter with a shotgun, that's what I'm talking about. 
All right, is there any flanking positions? There's one over here, but I'm pretty sure you can't make it over there. All right, Pat's gonna just have to run up here. Or prob oh my god, you were supposed to go into fucking high cover. Okay, good. He's running away anyways. I mean, Witchel does smell pretty bad, let's be honest now. Alright, Witchel's gonna earn his stripes. Oh, ooh, good, good, Witchel, good. That's my man. And that flank shot. Okay. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Looks like uh, only... Pat and uh, Witchell will have this. Okay. We do have a grenade. If to finish him off, if we need to. Oh, Witchell does not disappoint. Witchell does not disappoint, guys. Witchell comes. And he does shit. All right. All right. Let's see. How far is that thing? All right. I think it's like right there. So, pretty good opportunity for me to do things to it. Target preview. Kind of need to start shooting it now. For some reason, why the target preview doesn't actually show that thing as being in there? Moving out. I don't know why. Apparently, it's just not there. I mean, we could just kill it next turn, but seriously. What the, what's Got the deal with this? Here. Do we have to hack it? Neutral, destroy the relay, relay before the transmission completes. Oh, there we go. The target preview does shut. Well, we'll just put everybody over here, because it Pat, Pat went here and didn't trigger anybody, so. I guess there was some boxes there or something. It's okay, we got it, guys. Easy mission. Yeah, don't do this, don't worry about this guy. Don't don't, don't worry. Uh, he's no, nah, he doesn't see us. No, nah, it's okay. That yeah, ignore the guy with the green shirt, by the way. The transmission signal is fading. They've almost completed the transfer. This is your last chance to take out that relay. Uh. All right. Yeah, these these shots are shit, by the way, Cand. Fucking disappointed. All right, let's just go over here. You can shoot the thing with your pistol. Menace one five, we've confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. All right, we may do the uh, Jack Witchell as bait maneuver. Okay, now I guess we're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna throw a grenade over here. By throw, I mean. Uh, we're not throwing it at all. Alright. So Jack Wichal is now going to get the shot of his life. I would like to move him into some better cover, but... It does not seem like a very real possibility. Yeah, he doesn't see anything there. Wait. Well, he does see one over there, but it's still fucking trash. Whatever, enjoy your low cover. Good stuff. Yeah, dude, I hope Jack Winchell's a sharpshooter. Maybe, maybe he's good as a ninja. Alright. Well, don't worry. Choppy choppy. Half Dead Omen. Wow, what a, what a name for a mission, huh? Alright, well... Oh shit, dude, look at this! Dude, this is this looks so fucking suggestive. <laughs> look at that face. That's the face of a man that, uh... we are making it easier for them to catalog our people. That is the face of a man that is enjoying the picture. According to Advent officials, recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach program. Was Ked behind me before? Monetary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years. I mean, it's a whole new uh, co-op LP, what can I say? Ked behind me, staring intently at me at bottom. 
uh, that sword is totally not attached it's good for the entire crew's morale all right so all sword attacks have plus two a uh, t t plus two damage and plus ten aim or when this squad reveal the soldier remains concealed nope we, we we're going all the way in it's what banana ninja taught us to do operating some of our most advanced equipment specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be out for combat or field medic duty yeah, that makes sense. Jack Witcher would be the, the the lead hacker or the medic. Is it just me or does like the picture that showed up was that like uh, was he like not tall enough for the picture? Was it, well, he is a manlet after all, I guess. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception, it is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late what you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world their numbers are growing we suspect they have been taken to a nearby advent black site though its exact location remains unknown time is short commander we need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. New objective added. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Commander, having these two soldiers continue to work together has paid off. They know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities. The fuck is this? You know, I don't get a whole lot of call-ins these days. But if I did, something tells me, if I were to poll our listeners, news of dead aliens would be high on the list of things they love to hear. So, with that in mind, it is my pleasure to inform you that the human resistance movement, led by the intrepid forces of XCOM, dealt another low blow today to the alien scum of Advent. Yeah. Better. Amazing Tell picture. Tell near an advent burger menu. For science, of course. There you go, guys. Now that we have more staff on the engineering team, we can start clearing out space for new facilities, Commander. We should keep looking for more recruits, though. We'll need them to staff the facilities once they're built. Commander, so far I haven't seen anything critical among the alien components left over in this area. If we clean this stuff out, we could probably use this space for a new facility. Excavation is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared out. Hey, Commander. You'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat, Commander. With a few supplies, I can manufacture anything we need in no time. I like they nerfed the flashbang in this version of the game. You can't flashbang things away, but still, it's a nice thing to have as a backup option. What do you know about these gene therapy clinics, Doctor? They seem like a big draw for the cities right now. Having worked in one of the facilities, I can tell you firsthand. As long as you're compliant. Yes. The price of admission is acceptance of all Advent policies. For many people, that's hardly a consideration. A minor inconvenience at most. I'm beginning to see the appeal. Local resistance forces in the area can get you into the site, but you will need to make contact with their network first. This is only the beginning, Commander. Your leadership will be a beacon to our people across the globe. Scientist sounds better than some rookies right now, honestly. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. 
All right, well, we got the nano veil skills. During the course of our research, we made a startling breakthrough that has led us to another potential avenue of study. However, if we are to proceed down this path, we must do so immediately. So I fear we will lose our opportunity. Breakthroughs uh, are something that expire really fast, and it's just getting increased damage across the board for snipers. Even the upgraded versions, apparently, I think. Well, I'll just say it is. It's so good to do. All right, well, I kind of want to do power relay, uh, sort of training center. Oh, what's our power situation like? It's okay. We're just going to do the top three. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. All right, well, we get plus one damage now. We don't need resistance communications yet. I'm really actually not going to build that for quite a while. Oh, I probably should. Nah, it's going to be a while, though. You are too trusting, John. The skirmishers are Advent. Advent is the enemy. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Volk. You? Take their side? After all we've seen these years. Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Volk out. Actually think they might show up. Commander, that was Konstantin Volokov, Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak, and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. If you've got the time, we have a little bit of a situation here that could benefit from your help. Not sure how long our contacts are going to wait for us, Commander. So I'd recommend we proceed as soon as possible. All available soldiers are standing by to deploy. Setting course for Sector 9, Western United States. Each faction has agreed to allow a two-person squad to escort them to the rendezvous point. Hopefully that should be enough to keep them from killing each other. We've got a temporary ceasefire in place for the duration of the meet, but still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. So they have a two squad system. Can't get out of med kit, sure. Actually, technically, which was supposed to have the med kit? Uh, let's go back to the. Where's the old last uh, squad? There we go. Which should have the med kit. He's the best med kit person. I guess, uh. Oh, uh, he has good frags. Well, I'll give Can the, uh. Flashbang, because you never know. Yeah, these two butt buddies can go. 